Today we're talking about odds, right? Uh, why do we use odds? How do we interpret them? Let's get into this boom shakalaka. By the way, the slide that you're looking at at the moment, excuse the handwriting, but you can download the slide at learnmore365.com if you want to use it for study purposes or to sort of review what we talked about here. Okay, so when we do a case control study, we can't really compare risks because we don't know what the risk is. And just if you want the technical reason for that is because when we collect the cases, we don't really know what the denominator is. We don't know what the size of the population is that we're comparing it to. Anyway, just trust me, we, we don't know what the risk is, but what we can do is we can look at the odds of exposure. Now, what are odds? Odds are the probability of something happening over the probability of it not happening. Let me illustrate the difference between risk and odds quickly by saying if uh, there's 100 people and one of them sneezes, um, you know, the odds of the, the risk of sneezing is one over 100, right? The whole population. The odds would be one over 99. So risk and odds are very similar when the outcome is quite rare. However, if 20 people sneezed, the risk would be 20 over 100, but the odds would be 20 over 80. You see the difference. Uh, and so on and so on. So let's have a look at this case control study. We've got people with lung cancer and some of them were smokers, some of them were not smokers and people without lung cancer and some of them were smokers and some of them were not smokers, right? So with cancer, the odds of smoking were 90 over 10. So 90 smokers over 10 non-smokers and that's the odds were nine. The odds of being a smoker was nine. If you didn't have cancer, the odds of smoking were 30 over 70. So the odds of being a smoker in the people without cancer is 0.42. The odds ratio, which tells us, you know, how much bigger that the odds were in that group relative to the odds in the people without cancer is nine over 42. So the odds in the one group over the odds in the other group, and we get an answer of 21. The tricky thing here, and this is where people kind of fall apart a little bit, is how do we interpret that 21? And very often you'll see people interpret it as, well, the risk of uh, getting lung cancer if you're a smoker is 21 times more. That is not correct. Okay, what we've got here is the odds of being a smoker divided by the odds of not being a smoker, right? So if you, and Odds can't be interpreted as the probability of you getting lung cancer. All you can say is this, if the odds are more than one, right, then it is more likely that you were a smoker um, and you got cancer. If the odds are less than one, then it is less likely that you were a